You're welcome to Hope Expression Ministry. I will be giving a lecture on who a minister is designed to be by God. Well, a minister is actually a disciple of Jesus. And when we say the person is a disciple of Jesus, we are saying the person is a student of the scriptures, which means everything the person does, the scripture determines it. Their decisions, their desires, the expectations, the lifestyle, every single thing is patterned according to the scriptures. That is what it means for a minister of God to be a minister of God. So there is no way the Holy Spirit is going to inspire you outside the scriptures. The scripture, the Holy Spirit cannot inspire you in a service. It is a prophetic to do anything outside the scriptures because everybody in the kingdom of God is built on their faith in Christ. Your faith in Jesus is very important. Not your faith in your man of God. Not your faith in any other thing. Not the faith in your denomination. Your faith in Jesus is very, very important. Everything must be built on your faith in Jesus. And your faith in Jesus will come stronger and stronger when you understand the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the benefit of the suffering, the death, the resurrection of Jesus. You've got to depend on the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Not the grace of your pastor. Every grace that anybody is using in this kingdom is actually the extension of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And you've got to believe in Jesus. Don't believe in prayers. Don't believe in fasting. Believe in Jesus, then pray. Believe in fasting. B believe in Jesus, then pray. Believe in Jesus, then fast. A minister is a student of the word of God, set apart by God to discover, to learn, to prepare, to practice his interest according to the individual involved. A minister is a called individual. And that is it. It means you're called. What is calling? Calling means being set apart. Being called means being appointed. Being called means being delegated, okay, into the family of God, into the plan of God, into specific things that God has in mind for creating you. Calling is not just about activity. Calling is a relationship. Calling is the power of predestination. Your calling has been existing before you were even formed into your mother's womb. And the first place that you call manifest is salvation. Jesus said, nobody can come unto the Father except the Father calleth such person unto himself. You can't be saved if God's call is not upon your life. That's where your ministry starts from. That is where the capacity of being a minister begins to manifest. You've been saved into Christ, saved into the family of God. You're set apart. Then the second dimension is not even manifestation. It's first of all, in the personal relationship with God, you are called into the family of God. Then you are called to have a relationship with the Father, to have a relationship, to know who He is, to understand His way, to understand the oppressions of the kingdom, the oppressions of the family. Then, in your relationship with the Father, that is when you are also set apart to understand the plans of God because having a relationship with God, praying, studying your Bible, fasting, and prayer without the consciousness of the plan of God, then you're missing it. Then that's not the gospel. And the plan of God is revealed to you for you to learn and prepare. Because whatsoever is revealed to you is what you are entitled to manifest. You can't manifest. That's why ministry, as a minister, you can't copy another minister. Because you're supposed to function according to the revelation, personal revelation of God to you. And this is the place you serve. Ministry is the place to serve according to your personal dealings and God's operations with you. You've got to serve. Serve the body of Christ. Serve your spouse. Serve your children. When you've got to serve, there are two specific set of people you've got to serve. The people that you're passionate and you're curious about and the system. So let me tell you, as a minister of God, you're not only called to the church system. It could be an educational system. It could be in the politics. It could be in the modeling world. It could be in the art and entertainment. But follow this due process. There is no two ways about it. Whatever you do, in the secular, in the church, do all in the name of our God.
do all to please God. This is what it is. Knowing the plan of God for your life and doing it and becoming it every single day.